With me today, we have Aji Rohadi. I actually first met him about a few years ago, I think about three years ago when he actually interviewed me for his radio program. And today, now I have the privilege to interview him for my audio program as well. Okay, so thank you Aji for being here today. It's my pleasure. <laughs> Alright, so previously you were a radio DJ, right, at the Radio Singapore International or RSI. Uh, maybe you can share with me a little bit how did you first start being a radio DJ? I started a long way since I was still in Jakarta. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's because I think that's one of the reasons why Media Park, where RSI was housed, mm-hmm. recruited me to come down to Singapore. So I started off my career in radio in journal, in radio uh, when I uh, as a, as a scriptwriter. Mm. Then I gradually become a producer. Okay. Then after that. I became a program director okay. and then move on and so on and that kind of thing and I also <laughs> move on from one radio station to another I think it's pretty common in, in Jakarta <laughs> yes so okay. uh, it sort of um, give me the uh, a long list of CV mm. it's making my CV longer and longer because uh, my experience getting longer in radio stations not just because not not I, I they see me not only work for just one not not have just work for one station but mm. I have had the experience of um, working for several radio stations so that sort of gave me the advantage and then um, in two o four I started working in Radio Singapore International as a producer presenter okay and then that time RSI had the uh, RSI had always been um, sorry RSI had uh, Indonesia surface, mm. so that means they were doing broadcast in Bahasa Indonesia. So that's okay. why they needed Indonesia radio reporter or journalist. Mm. So yeah, apparently, I fit the bill, <laughs> 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 or maybe I was just lucky. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. So all the while, actually, you have been in radio industry. I mean, it's radio is something that is actually very familiar to you because, like, even before you came to Singapore, you were previously worked in a radio stations, various radio stations in, in, in Jakarta and Indonesia. Correct, yes. Mm. And I, it's not that I plan to be in radio industry, <laughs> but yeah, I actually, my major in university was mass communication okay. in University of Indonesia. Mm-hmm. Um, by that time, I always really thought that I would work in uh, print media, like newspaper or magazine. Okay. But then, faith. <laughs> Destiny. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So, so, how many years total, like, you know, you have been in the well, radio? Mm. Yeah. Um, when I first started as a scriptwriter, that mm-hmm. was in 1997, mm. shortly after. Shortly after the Asia financial crisis. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I still remember. 1998, that period. Yes. Okay. And then on 1998, uh, it was a very exciting moment. Well, quote unquote exciting for <laughs> those people work, working in um, media industry because we had a lot of events, chain of events in Indonesia. So there mm. were a lot of things, especially for me, a newbie, um, we le- learned a lot mm. about. Uh, Working about working experience in the field. Okay. Kind of thing, yeah. Okay. Okay. But um, but what do you like most of being a radio DJ? What do I like the most? Mm. Um, is that uh, I reach out to people. I mm. reach out to a lot of people. Um. Maybe because maybe because for me radio is very personal. Mm-hmm. Yet, it's not just. Um, limited to one person mm. so personal as for me per- maybe people think that being personal is just one to one that kind of thing but for me um, why not you have personal relationship quote unquote with many people at the same time so mm. I had I had personal relationships with okay. my listeners Okay, yes. yeah, because the moment you, I mean, like whatever things that you share in the radio itself, actually, like, wow, there's hundreds or even thousands of yes. people actually hearing your sharing, yes. Yes. right? Okay. Yes, I reach out <laughs> to them. And then, yeah, um, we share a lot of things together. They, they send me feedback, mm. and then I share that feedback with other people as well. Mm-hmm. And it enriched me, enriched myself also. Mm. Yeah. Okay, mm. all right, just now, interestingly, you mentioned that 
uh, actually never in your plan to be a radio DJ because previously you study mass communications yes. in in Jakarta in Indonesia. Yes. All right. Then, but now you know you you are in a radio working for like many years, nineteen ninety seven until now. I think it's like what, 12 years already. Yes. <laughs> well. So. so uh, okay. Uh, it's not. I mean. Okay. Now mm-hmm. that you mentioned that I didn't plan it well, I never really plan also mm-hmm. till how long I would be working for for radio stations mm-hmm. in radio industry because at this point of time I'm not working in radio anymore so <laughs> yeah I just go with the flow okay all right. <laughs> but come to my next question is because um I mean like looking at your background you never really thought that you were going to actually work as a as a DJ as a radio DJ mm-hmm. but do you think everyone can be a radio DJ or must must they have like very good and sweet voice before they can actually go into broadcasting or you know, like everyone also can <laughs> <laughs> well um, I believe that in every type of uh, life or, or, or I should say in every type of uh, work mm-hmm. or job mm-hmm. there are requirements that people have to meet mm. so um, if you ask me whether can everyone become radio DJ mm-hmm. that really depends on the requirements of the radio stations mm. um, where they want to work for okay. yeah so but then uh, the general requirement is actually uh, quite similar from one to another mm. you have to have the voice uh, so and the if voice you is important <laughs> <laughs> yeah because yeah well, because they can't see you, they can only hear yes, your voice. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Um, it doesn't have. It doesn't have to be very pleasant. Okay. But it cannot be annoying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, you have to have some sort of materials to talk to. Okay. Like um, you cannot be someone who is very um, silent. Mm. Who is very introvert. Okay. Yes. Uh, you have to be able to share what you have and then mm. be open to people that kind okay. yeah so can i say that actually being talkative in nature actually really helps um you know it does for us working as a dj it does a DJ. it does yeah. if you s- yeah it does help mm-hmm. but then again it doesn't guarantee you <laughs> <laughs> okay all right so good voice and a good personality as well uh, you know like at least yeah. you must because you must always prepare uh, yeah. the things that you want to say to your audience to your listeners yes. and all these things those are only few those are only few requirements mm. uh, few basic requirements but then uh, again I, I must say that it really depends on the radio stations uh, where you want to work for Mm, okay all right then what about for because there might be someone who is currently listening to these audio programs right mm. who probably really wanted to become a radio dj one day but maybe unfortunately um they have they don't really have a very good voice i mean of course maybe their voice is not so annoying <laughs> but maybe they don't really have like such a very pleasant and good and sweet as those people in the who is already in radio so, uh, do you think they still have chance, or or is there actually some kind of training that normally you have to undergo first before the radio station, you know, like broadcast you? Mm. Well, if if they really want to be a radio DJ, mm-hmm. I believe now there are training schools where mm-hmm. they can go and enlist themselves, mm-hmm. and these training schools are actually very good. Um, mm. They can really prepare. Uh, people to become radio DJ mm. but then um, they themselves have to prepare uh, for their backgrounds and then their experience and then their knowledge mm. um, to bring in because it cannot just they cannot just learn about how to speak it's mm. 